There's the dog. Come say hi to the dog. Hello, dog. So I'm sitting outside the brewery right now and I'm next to a hop plant. Just wanted to say hello to this hop. It is the spring 2019. They're starting to pop out of the ground, which is crazy. I planted a few around the farm to make it look nice. And then we have a one acre hop yard. And uh, yeah, here's, uh, here's just like a quick two minutes on hops. So I planted these in front of the brewery. I'm gonna train them up the side of the wall here. Just as a decoration, we'll probably get some hops out of them, which is nice, because people will get to see it as they walk to and from the tasting room. Now, hops, uh, I kind of describe it to people as their uh, annual above ground and a perennial underground. They grow back, they grow from rhizomes, they grow back from the same roots every year, and then in the spring it looks like this, where they send up a whole bunch of shoots. Uh, this is a younger plant. As they get bigger, they'll put out even more shoots than this, and what we're gonna do uh, in the beginning of the season here is prune back. I'm gonna take the ones from the outside, and I actually take some of the biggest ones, because uh, those can be bull shoots, which is a, uh, it's one of the shoots that comes up. It's thicker, it's more hollow, it has a more woody texture, and it's, uh, it just doesn't produce as many flowers as the regular shoots. Uh, these ones all look really good though. <clears throat> so I'm gonna prune back to the center here. I'll probably leave three or four on this specific plant. And then over the course of the season, this little shoot, this thick guy right here, will grow 18 feet tall. This growth tip, the apical meristem, has all the genetic information to create another hop plant in it. And that, uh, that growth tip, as it goes up, it's following the path of the sun, so it's going clockwise as it twines around the coir, which is the string made out of coconut husk that we use. And then uh, once it gets to the top, that tip folds over, and when it points down, it says, all right, I'm done growing up, I'm growing out. And it puts out branches. There'll be branches that come out from here. And on those branches, uh, we'll grow the flowers, which is the hop cone, which is what we use uh, in the beer brewing process in the building that I can touch right now. Um, so the goal is to get these guys pruned and up and tall as possible so that they bend over as quick as possible so that they send out branches and then they have fully mature cones or flowers uh, that I'm getting chewed by mosquitoes right now uh, <clears throat> that we can harvest and then use in the beer later on. Uh, so my hops on the farm and the, 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 brewer, the hop yard, which is that direction, um, are starting to look like this. I have compost on the other ones, so they're a little bit more buried, uh, but they're all starting to pop out. It is the mid to late April right now as I'm recording this, and uh, yeah, things are looking good. So that's a hot plant. Uh, I will give you progress throughout the year as these things grow. Uh, it's fun, it's a fascinating plant. They grow like a weed, uh, and you just do your best to keep the fungus off of them and get a good harvest so that you can have a nice tasty beer. Any questions about hops, I'm sure I will answer it throughout the season. I've started these seasons before talking about hops, but uh, this year it's more of a focus on the farm, so you're going to see more of it on video. And uh, yeah, that's my update for today. Hope you guys have an awesome day, and until next time, I'll see you out in the field.